This is Pierre Mar Bones 88. And today, for my next movie in theaters that I'll be talking about today, I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever. <laughs> today, I will be reviewing is Shazam, director of David F. Sandberg, and it also stars Zachary Levy, Mark Strawn, and Asher Angel. First time I even got to see this movie, Shazam, when I heard this it was going to come in theaters, I was like, Wow, a movie, another DC superhero that we finally get to see on the big, big screen. Because most likely we always see is just Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash for our only Justice League and Suicide Squad, Aquaman, and now we get to see is Shazam. At first I was kind of a bit iffy on the movie and plus with the costume that they were going to make him wear, I felt it was going to be, what, a TV movie? But when I hear it was going to be a movie itself, and when I saw the trailer, it was like, wow. It's, it wasn't dark, it wasn't a spoof film, it wasn't goofy, but it was kind of a bit of a between the balance, of between funny and serious, but not really too dark, like Batman and The Man of Steel, including Justice League, well, they kind of goofed off of the ripoff of the Avengers. But seeing Shazam is like really new to me, and I really love this movie. And me and my girl, we saw this in theaters, and we were just like so surprised of seeing this film. And we just wanted to like continue on watching it over and over and get it in um, Blu-ray and DVD soon. But however, if those of you have never known who or what Shazam was, originally being called uh, Captain Marvel. Yes, I know, it was like two Captain Marvels. One male, one female, but they were in like different universe. The DC Captain Marvel and the Marvel Captain Marvel. Sounds weird how I said it. I don't know why, it's weird. But however, during the time and years and since there was going to be two different Captain Marvels, I think it was that time that later in the years that they decided to change his name is from that to Shazam. It makes lot it makes logical sense and it's left complicated. Having like two Captain Marvels, just call him Shazam. Hell, that's what I always call him Shazam. I mean back in the day, yeah, when I was a kid, I always knew that he was Captain Marvel. But I never knew there was a female version in the Marvel Universe. But I think maybe that was the good reason for it. So this movie is about of a young teenage boy named Billy Baxton. And he's been going from one foster home to another. And right until he discovers a place that gives him power and all he has to say was his name, Shazam. Are you for real? Say the key! <laughs> First he found it hilarious uh, how he's supposed to say the name. But he does say it anyways, and that's where he becomes a superhero called Shazam. Now there are some easter eggs and mentions about like during the Justice League and Batman v Superman movies. I think that during the time they at least they, they added some added some like the superheroes and the elements that they used from the other movies at time, including the spin-offs as too as well. But I also really love and enjoy where both the uh, Asher Angels and Zach Levy's performance of playing Billy Batson and Shazam. Having Zachary Levy playing as Shazam and acting as Billy Batson, the adult time, but acts like a kid at times, really makes me laugh and I enjoyed his performance so well. I just couldn't stop laughing, even with his cracking jokes at times. It really just brings out like how the movie that is supposed to be. It doesn't have to be dark, it doesn't have to be woke very goofy, but like trying to break it balance, like just balance it off between a funny and serious. And that's how this movie was. It was both funny and serious at times, and that's how they did the balance. They balanced it very well. 
But unlike with other DC films, DC films, some of them were very lack of, were having some lack of storyline, um, much more goofiness, and including some fat nipples. Ugh. And even so, with the actor Mark Strong, he played as Dr. Athenus, playing as the bad guy, and really, he made that performance so well. I just like, wow, this was kind of the villain that I also wanted to see, but I really wanted to see was uh, the other Shazam, what was his name? Oh, what was his name? Oh, God. I, I hardly read DC comics a lot, only just I know is Batman and Superman. And The Flash as well. Honestly, I hope they do make a sequel of Shazam part two, of Shazam. And probably we'll get to see the next villain that he'll probably go against. And who knows, maybe we might get to meet the other heroes like Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, The Flash, Aquaman. We'll get to see them soon. I would say I would highly recommend you guys to see this movie. And if those of you didn't get a chance to see it, Definitely, it will be your chance to see it, and maybe, possibly, it's definitely worth watching and getting it on Blu-ray and DVD once again. So, just to rate this film for Shazam, I'll have to give this the best 9.8 out of 10. Not too bad, and this was a good movie, and maybe there was some funny, crazy scenes that were really funny or possibly unnecessary. But honestly, I think this was a good storyline and it was a good start for this DC film. Just how to make it more funny and very interesting. And once again, for Zachary Levy playing as Shazam, I think he did a great job and I think he should stay to play as Shazam. Please don't switch him and please don't quit on us. Please, Zachary Levy, you are the best. And so far, you are hilarious. I love this movie. Definitely worth watching it, and once again, definitely getting this on Blu-ray and DVD. Hopefully, if they ever do make a Justice League movie, like a second film, try to make it better. Not too funny, and not make it as a Avengers ripoff. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off. The saying is, peace, and Shazam! <laughs> Ugh.